Welcome back everyone to another exciting episode of I Am Setsuna. I'm your host Mr. Gazillion and in the last episode we got to the village of knights or something where we saved a kid from a bunch of monsters. Now what would be a good, I think cyclone would be probably a good combo here. Oh, oh, solve this trap. Oh, nice. Nice. Oh, okay, that one's close enough. Not that one, though. All right, not bad, not bad. Yes, so um, there was a little kid that was under attack by monsters, and he said that the villagers were all in this cave for some reason. So I guess we're going to go and try and save them. Cup Perilla or Perilla? Perilla, Perilla, Perilla. I don't know. I've never seen that word before. Uh-oh. Ooh, that doesn't look good. Huh? That's... It's... It's a person! Wrapped, wrapped up like a cocoon! What the hell happened here? Quick, we need to help whoever, whoever's inside! And unfortunately... Come on, let's get rid of these things and fast! Obviously, we don't get a freaking surprise and momentum attack when this happens, which is really unfortunate. Uh, ground rush, okay... Niter, yeah, let's do a below beat on, okay, all of them. And two destruct, self-destructs are gonna kill us. Uh, oh, because they're stunned, maybe they're killed. Or maybe it's because it's overkill. Never really know, really. Oh, look at that stuff. I don't think I've ever had this much stuff from a just basic little battle. That definitely looks like a cocoon to me. Thanks, you saved my neck. But who are you people? We're passing travelers. We came here to rescue you and the other villagers. I am in your debt, travelers. While I was asleep, my limbs were bound by means of magic. When I awoke, I found I had been brought here. Did you see the monsters? How were you brought here? Okay, how were you brought here? The monsters used magic to restrain me and then carried me here. What sort of monster was it? My conscience was hazy, but I'll never forget the sight of it. It was a small but hideous creature. Was everyone captured? The whole village was empty. Probably. That traveler may well have been captured too. Traveler? That's right. He said he was looking for Sprit Knight. If he left the village right after that, he's probably alright though. Anyway, you go back to the village and stay hidden. We'll take care of things here. What strong people you are, unflinching even when faced with such a fearsome monster. That's right. Thank you. I shall live, leave it in your hands. I hope we can meet again. Yeah. Let's head further inside. We need to make sure no other people are still being held captive. Sure, but yeah, this is not good. Man. Um, is this going further inside? It might be, but what if we go up? I know we can go up a little bit. I just want to make sure we don't miss anything, really. Fellowship Oath. What is that? What kind of item is it? It's a talisman, that's for sure. Alright, let's see. Okay, so the talisman is able to unleash a mighty power and respond to oaths of camaraderie. Oh my god. I'm French, right? So I want to pronounce it in French. So, okay, so momentary boost and support bonus. Doesn't seem to be that good. So I'm not going to use it right away. It, it doesn't have a bunch of stuff. It might be super good, I don't know. You, you never know. I don't super understand how talisman works, to be perfectly honest. So here's one. We're gonna do a blow beat again. Because I don't want to get hurt by the, um, by the explosion, so... What the heck was that? Okay, so maybe they only do that when they can actually hit targets. Because there's definitely some overkill there. Look at that, link kill, all that stuff. Okay, not as much stuff, but still some good stuff, I think, anyway. And we've got Fire 2! Nice! That's probably something our good friend, um... Kirk can equip. Maybe in here? Fire 2, yes, let's do it. He's got Fire 1 already. And I am going to use some potions, though, because we're getting a little low there. And maybe some... some... Uh, yeah, I'm this guy. Uh, you know what? I'll do it on both of them. Because if we're getting close to a boss battle, you never know if they're going to give us a free heal. I'd rather not take any chances. 
look, there's another one. Come on, we need to do something. Yeah, well, we're gonna kill him, all right. What are these things doing? Guarding the food supply? Whatever it is. What, whatever it is they're doing, I don't think it, they're going to let us through without a fight. Yeah, they won't. Oh, look, we're already through. <laughs> oh, man. I think blow beat's the way to go here. Because I really do want... Um... Oh, man, how the heck did Kerr get so freaking weak? Come on, add physical damage. Boom, stun. Oh, maybe it was because of... Oh, okay. It might have been because of the stun and paralysis that they weren't able to do an explosion. There we go, again, some good stuff. Let's save the villagers. Is it a woman or a child this time? Oh. Phew, that was a close one. I thought I was a goner. Uh huh. I don't recognize any of your faces. Who are you? Oh no, uh, you no know one of any r uh, real importance. I'm Kerr and this is my ha band of adventurers. Your band? All right, don't get carried away. We're passing travelers. We heard the villagers have been kidnapped by a monster, so we came to help. I see, thank you. I don't know what, uh, what might have happened if you hadn't shown up. I can't believe that monster would even for the knighthood to be gone before making its move. The knighthood? Yes, the knighthood. The knights led by our beautiful princess. Uh, Why are they the, those knights now? They left the village to slay some nearby monsters. So it waited for them to be gone before striking? The monsters are definitely becoming more cunning. It's not like before at all. Perhaps this can be the theme for my next research project. Still, how did you find this place? A little boy back in the village told us. We didn't ask his name. A little boy? That's strange. I thought all the children were brought here. I suppose one of them m must have managed to escape. Anyway, you need to get out of here before the monsters get here. We'll handle the rest. I, s I spend all my time in the village studying old texts, you see, so I'm hopeless at fighting. So thanks, I'll leave it to you. See you later. Well, he's grateful, so that's good. Huh. Kerr, how did you get so low? Oh no, just a regular potion. You actually don't have that much a, a HP to begin with. Alright, let's move forward. Any shiny things? I don't think so. I don't see any. Boom! Well, I'm gonna do a blow beat again. Hopefully it'll par paralyze them. Come on... Ah, crap. Yeah, so it's definitely the paralysis that does it. And only one of them's gonna hit him, so that's not too bad. I can live with that. Fortunately, we took some damage. I don't know if that affects the amount of items we get. I, I, I'm, like, thinking that it does. Uh, horse, oak, mushroom. I thought I had pressed the button there, but I hadn't. Okay, am I supposed to go up or down? Okay. Oh, man. Those... Please work. I mean, I guess I could have done Cyclone to push them away. And none of them are... Oh, God, that's going to hurt a lot. There's definitely two of them. Yeah, one. And then the second one. Ow. Okay. Oh, well. It happens. No level ups. Some good items. Not as good as I would have liked, but uh, yeah. So I guess the little boy from the village might be a bad guy, eh? Hmm. Oh, man. I don't really feel like using some ether because I don't have that much left. I'm kind of hoping to see a save point or something. Um, okay, I think this might be where we're supposed to go. So I should have used the tent outside. I don't want to leave now because um, all the monsters would respawn. Ah, oh, dang it. A locked chest. One day we'll have to figure out why we get that. Hmm. Okay, should we start walking around? Or, or maybe Kirk can start, start using some of his magic. Oh, I think that'll have to do it this time. Over there! I can see another one! Just wait there, we'll save you. Alright, crap. I don't like this one bit. Um, how about uh, you, Kerr? You try... No. Kerr, yeah, we'll definitely wait for... 
Hmm. Okay, so first, Endir. You do a Cyclone to push them back. Come on, hope that pushes them back enough. Oh! Well, that's a great way to save on MP, actually. I might keep doing that. I might, I'm gonna get less, uh, fewer items. But, uh, still worth it, I think. Considering I won't be using up as much ether. So who's in this cocoon? Are you from the knighthood? No, it, it appears not. You're so brave. I, I was just sure you, you were from the knighthood. No, we're just travelers. We ended up coming here to help you purely by chance. Well, even if it was by chance, I'm very grateful uh, to you for having rescued me. Are you injured? No, I'm not injured. I think maybe those monsters were keeping us as food reserves. They didn't lay a finger on us. If that's true, these must be pretty intelligent monsters. I can hardly believe it. I, I've always dreamed of joining the knighthood and, and keep myself well trained, but I didn't stand a chance against those monsters. It was so frustrating. Anyway, I won't get in your way any further. There's no need to worry. I can't get back by myself. You've certainly got guts, miss. Just what you'd expect from an aspiring knight, eh? If you come to our village, you should ask after the knighthood. Th their leader is an amazing woman. Hmm. Anyway, take care. Seems like a lot of the uh, women in this game are very strong. Think that's all of them? Who knows? We st still don't seem to have reached the deepest part of this cave. Some base they've got here. I wish your village was this secure. Let's keep going. Yeah, like in the village in uh, Purico. Purico, actually. No, I didn't mean to jump there. Uh, in Purica, um, the captain, what was her name again? She's the one who knew Niter. Uh, anyway, she was uh, the captain and the strongest in the village. And now the captain of the knighthood seems to be a woman too, so that's actually pretty fun. All right, let's save here. Um, what's the oldest one? So this was, both of these were on the 11th and this was on the 4th. So let's do it here. And I don't think we ended up... Ooh, oh, come on, Kerr. How are you still so low health? You didn't even get hit in the last battle, did you? Alright. Oh, no, it's that kid. Ah, oh, damn, I should have used Ether. Hey, aren't you that boy from the village? What are you doing here? We told you to stay hidden. You weren't brought here after we left the village, were you? Oh, dear. I'm so sorry for you leaving you alone. You must have been so frightened. Are you alright? You're not hurt, are you? You saved everyone. I don't know about everyone. Are there more people here? Mm. What's wrong, kid? There are more people further inside. Please help them. Where should we go? Stay away from that boy! Huh? What are you talking about? Come on, we need to hurry up and save the others! What's the matter, Endir? You're acting strange. Is something bothering you? Something's not right. That boy. Not right? When Ender says things like that, he's usually spot on. I've got a bad feeling about this. Ender, what, whatever's the matter? Why weren't you captured too? I was just lucky, I guess. Yeah, I'm sure that's all there is to it. He's only a little kid. The monsters could easily have overlooked him. What is it you're, you're suspicious of, Endir? I mean, what exactly are you you're suggesting about this kid? He's a monster. What? I'm not a monster. Hmm, Endir, was it? You sure are sharp. I can't believe you saw through this form. You don't mean you... You, you really are! We monsters are no different from humans. If we don't eat, we die. Sorry. What the wah? This can't be. How is it possible for a monster like this to exist? He's some sort of beetle, isn't he? Alright. Ooh, ow. Alright. Kerr, we need you to give some, uh, some ether to our good friend, uh, Endir. And Ender, 
You and, uh, you do a little blow beat. No, not a horn slice. That's not good. Come on. All right. Hopefully this will stun him. There you go. Boom. Stun, confuse, defense down. Exactly what we need right now. I don't think we need to heal just yet. Oh, but he's not. He's awake still. Uh, you you use a potion on yourself. Or how about a, a mid potion? You're, you're pretty weak. And uh, Ender, a potion on yourself. And Kerr, you could probably do fire too. There you go. Add magical damage. Boom, boom. Oh no, this thing's immune to magic. His momentum's been locked. But that's okay. We'll use another blow back. Blow beat. That's okay. Blow beat. Let's do it. Oh no, we can't do it. But he's stunned this time. Damage adjustment counters will no longer be reset. Okay, okay. Another fire. Oh no, what am I doing? Of course he's... Oh, I'm an idiot. I should have used some something else. We could do some... Some shock then. There you go. Boom. Oh, he's not shocked though. But he might be pissed. Okay, let's do some provoking here. Provoke. We couldn't get our defense up because he's uh, his momentum's shocked, but that's okay. A little bit of time. Kerr, you give him another potion because he's pretty... He's going to be taking the damage for now. And uh, Ender... What could you do, actually? Blow beat? No. What does this do? While in this state, MP is recovered automatically. Eh, might as well. We'll wait a little bit. Imagine for yourself, Nidir, you do counter. There you go. Oh, good. And miss. Good, good, good. Yes. Wonder if it could have used um, Kerr. Um, maybe you can do Bio. Oh, no need. You know what? Just try and attack him. And let's. Oh crap! He's. <laughs> We'll let uh, Ender finish it with a uh, regular attack. There you go. Special damage done. Oh, ma'am. Ah! Fire kill, momentum kill. Okay, that's all right. We don't have a time kill, and we're not getting levels. Uh, unfortunately, he was a he w it was a boss fight, and we didn't use food. Mama, mean people came. We need to escape quickly. Uh oh. Wait there, Mama. I'll save you. Hmm. What should we do, Ender? We should follow him. Yeah, looks like we better. If we let him get away and then the villagers get captured again, this will all have been a waste of time. All right, we better hurry then. We don't want him getting away. We sure don't. But we're kind of running low on supplies, though. This is not good at all. I don't want to use all my other. I, I will save again, though. Now, what's the most recent save? I think it was this one, the 22nd. Yes. Oh, wow. Has it really been 11 days since the last time we played? That seems like so long ago. All right, let's move forward. Let's push. Oh, wait. We have poison on this guy? Oh, so we might need to use... Uh... Okay, I think he has paralysis. There you go. That's good. At least there's paralysis. And, uh, I kind of just want to move a... Okay, well, there's an item again. So let's use a meal. More XP, number of drops. I, I don't really care about the XP, but they seem to all do it. So that's okay. So number of drops, light elemental. A number of drops, water elemental resistance. A number of drops, life, fire. And, okay, number of drops and physical defense. Okay, I think I like physical... Uh, you know what? Physical attack might be more useful. So we'll use that. And yes, we are going to use a couple of other ethers because we are low. What am I going to say? Stay back. Don't come near my mama. What the? You don't mean this is his mother. But this is a, is a corpse and one that's been dead for a while. Does he not understand that she's dead? I see. I guess he thought that if he brought her human, she'd recover. That's why he kidnapped the whole damn village. Ender, can I try speaking to him? All right, we'll wait for a minute. But be careful. He might jump at you. Thank you, Ender. It didn't seem like the villagers came to any harm. This boy is different from the other monsters. I'm sure of it. Hey, listen.
listen, your mama is dead. I know that, that's why I brought her food to try and make her better again. No, that's not what death is. Huh? What do you mean? When living things die, time stops for them. They can't talk to you anymore. They can't do anything anymore. What? What are you talking about? I don't get it. I don't get it! Mama was fine until that man attacked her. If only he never came, she would have been fine. Who's that man? The man who came. He attacked us out of nowhere. Mama tried to protect me and... and... It's all his fault. That man, he was so terrifying with his huge scythe. You don't mean that freak again. So he's not only attacking us, he's attacking monsters too? You can't stay here any longer. But Mama is. You know, my mom died when I was little too. So I know how it feels. I know exactly how it feels. What? In fact, I even envy you. Envy me? Why? Well, I don't really remember my mom. Really? I remember my mama. Yeah, that's why I envy you. You have all those memories together with her inside of you. Memories? That's right. You'll always have those memories and she'll always be there. As long as I, as you live. As long as I live? So live on. That way you'll never lose that me those memories and your mama will always be with you. Huh. Mama, I... Come on. Come with me. Let's leave this cave together. Alright. But there's something off about this monster. Can we recover some of, some of its carapace or something? And damn it, did I seriously need to use all those freaking items? I always get screwed that way. Note to self, when there's a freaking save spot in a cave, use a freaking meal afterward. Ooh, some of these things came back. None of the other monsters did, though. Uh, oh, oh, well, there you go. Uh, Ender, you do a cyclone. It's cheaper, it'll push them, and it'll kill them. There you go. One, two, three. Oh, it missed him. Oh, that I mean that one will hit. 34. Damn it. I was kind of hoping for a uh, flawless victory there. Ooh, we got a lot of goods. <laughs> Nothing great, but uh, whatever. I guess it's good enough. Uh, wait, I meant to check. Can I jump down here? Nope. Okay, we'll go around. We only rescued like three people. No way that can be the rest of the village. <laughs> So, uh, it's kind of odd that uh, the village is composed of three villagers. A cup gorilla. Oh. So this is the child. Oh. Oh no. This is the monster that attacked our village. Who are you? What impudence. When asking someone's name, etiquette dictates that one must first state one's own. However, in light of you having captured the monster, I shall overlook this indignity. My name is... Do you want to change Julian's name? Of course not. Ooh, my name is Julian. As head of the knighthood, I must demand that you hand that monster over to me. Head of the knighthood? That villager did mention something about that, didn't he? Then I need explain no further. Come, hand over the monster. Please wait. I know this boy kidnapped the villagers, but he isn't an evil monster by any means. We can understand each other, all you need to do is talk to him. What absurdity! Whether he is evil or virtuous is not the issue. His crime of having endangered my people remain unchanged. Wait, please! He doesn't pose any threat. What's uh, It has inflicted harm, it shall already be too late. You understand this, I am sure. If the creature is vanquished now, Needless damage can be avoided. You're you're working together with that man, aren't you? I'm right, aren't I? You can't fool me. Oh no. 
Finally, you reveal your true form. Now that you have bared your fangs, I shall consider you a foe, and to my foes I show no mercy. No, stop it! Setsuda, watch out! We'll stop, Julian. No! So you dare oppose me, masked man? Very well. Then I shall bring death onto you. What? I can't believe it. What incredible old magical energy! You will have an eternity to regret your, fool in the, your foolishness in the afterlife. You shall rue the day that you ever laid hands on my people. Oh no. You wish to die first, do you? Our lives aren't all the same. Some are shorter, some are longer. But one person's will to live is just as valuable as another's. Setsuna? Ludicrous! The monster must be killed. If left alive, he shall only pose a threat to lives of my people. The seeds of disaster must be cut down the moment they begin to sprout. But sometimes you can solve things by talking. That's why I don't let you harm this boy. Thanks. And he runs off again. Okay. I know not from whence you came. With your soft-hearted ideals. But placing trust in the likes of monsters shall lead only to regret. Human and monsters cannot coexist. They are incompatible beings. Hmm. Very well. My fervor, my fever has suddenly diminished. It seems that my people are in your debt. I must thank you. If there is anything I can do to help you, I shall do it. We need to cross the ice. I see. Somewhat troublesome task indeed. Each year there are those who try to cross it, ignorant to its perils, and lose their lives. Very well, I shall assist you. In any case, preparations must be made. First return to my village, Royberg, and rest yourselves. Whew, that was close. Hmm, we shall meet her in Royberg then. But first, before we head there, I'm sure we can find some more ingredients down here. Here you go, a blizzard bean. Ah, blizzard beans, the magical fruit. Or the magicute, magical legume. Hmm. Though, I, who knows if, you know. If a blizzard bean is the same as other all other beans. Anyone know what, guys? I think I will end the episode here. In the next episode, we will go in Royberg. Talk to uh, Julianne, uh, recruit her help to cross the ice, and possibly cross the ice unless she has another task for us. So as always, I am your host, Mr. Gazillion. Thank you so much for watching, liking, subscribing, and commenting. Let me know what you think of I am Setsuna, and I will speak to all of you next time. Bye.